Welcome to this A Shampoo Backup Pro 15 video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to backup your most important documents on a daily basis through a simple backup plan. Let's begin. You can start creating a new plan right from the overview page. You will then be asked to specify the storage type that will hold your backup. I want to use a USB flash drive, so I select local drive or network drive. Using an external drive is usually the way to go, since it'll still be operational in the event of total system failure. My flash drive has the letter E, so I select that now and click Next to proceed. Every backup plan needs a name. Meaningful names make it easier to tell your plans apart. I'll go with Daily Documents USB and click Next to proceed. Backup Pro 15 comes with built-in presets that take care of the various remaining settings for you. As you can see, there is a preset available that creates daily backups of your documents. But since I want to show you the remaining steps, I won't be relying on a preset in this tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to backup my documents folder, so I select individual files slash folders and click next. Your backups can either be optimized for space or accessibility. I'll go the efficiency route and click next to proceed. I can now select the files and folders that will be included in my backup plan, either by category, file type or manual selection. I make sure that Documents is checked and click Next to proceed to the password setting. If you like, you can use password encryption to better protect your files against unauthorized access. I won't be using encryption in this example, so I'll just hit Next. File compression is enabled by default, but you can always change that if you like. I then have to specify the interval at which my new plan will be executed. I'll go with Daily Backups at 1 p.m. and click Next to proceed. Unless you're running a server, it's very well possible that your PC may be off during a scheduled backup run. This section is where you decide how the software will behave in these instances. Make a backup at the next opportunity sounds great to me, so I'll simply move to the next step. This is where you specify how the program will behave once the backup cycle is complete. I recommend you go with the default settings. Data integrity is essential to any useful backup strategy, which is why each archive is verified automatically during updates by default. Let's move on. If you like, the program can create brief or detailed reports about each backup cycle. Here's where you select the level of detail. You can even have these reports emailed to you and stay up to date while you're away from your PC. Note that you need a free Ashampoo account to use this feature. If you like, the program can keep older copies of modified files for a specified time period. You can select the duration of that period here. Click Next to proceed to the summary. The summary lists all the settings of your new plan. Use the Back button to make modifications or click Next to finalize your plan you'll be prompted to confirm the changes to your PC. Click Yes to proceed. Your new backup plan is now ready for use. 
you can run it right away or return to the main menu. In any case, I feel much safer now knowing that from now on, my important documents will be backed up at 1 p.m. every day. The overview page summarizes the statuses of your backups in three categories. Click a category or use View Backup Plans to access your existing plans. By customer request, we've added options to not only review, but also modify your plans in full detail. The Details view is especially handy to spot and fix issues that arose during backup cycles. That's it for today. Creating backup plans for all your various files may seem tedious at first, but once they're in place, you'll never have to worry about data loss again. And that really seems like a small price to pay, doesn't it? So enjoy using the program, thanks for watching, and see you next time!